Hi, it's Jane. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to get your business listing onto page one of Google. Firstly, it is not an exact science, so we can't guarantee anything, but there are definitely some bits that you can do to help you on the way. So the first thing you do when you open up a Google page and type in a search is you'll get a page with lots of listings at the very top and sometimes at the bottom you'll have ones that say add next to them. So these are the ones where people have paid for those listings or they are paying for the pay-per-click which will determine how, um, how much it's going to cost them and quite often they're quite expensive. So for those people who don't have the budget or don't want to um, throw a lot of money at Google advertising, you have to work on your organic search. So this is search that you are getting without paying for it. So there are some things that you can do, but in the first instance, I'd like to make sure that you are using an incognito search. So at the top of your search bar, normally on the right hand side, there should be some dots. And if you click on that, it will give you the option to open an incognito window and the screen kind of goes black. And this basically stops Google from seeing your IP address. And so it won't automatically give you some listings that have cached within your Google um, search. So, you know, you'll, you'll get an exact um, idea of if somebody knew was looking for your business, how they would find you and whether you would be on page one. Because quite often you can come up on page one just because you've checked your own website or you've looked at your own um, listing before and Google knows that. So it will bring that up. Now you will see underneath the ads that there's a box and that is really where people will look for businesses because it stands out, let's face it. And um, if you can get yourself into that box, then that's great. And there's lots of ways to do that. Number one is to get yourself and your business um, looking exactly correct on the listing. So you will go into your Google account, into Google My Business, You'll make sure you've got your opening hours. You'll make sure your map is in exactly the correct place for your business. If you have lots of branches, you'll make sure that that's the case for all of them. Sometimes Google needs to send you a postcard, which can take about a week to 10 days to come through with a code on it that you then have to put in, which will verify where your listing is. Please make sure if you are having multiple listings for your business that they are all identical. So sometimes you get uh, branch managers to put their own listing in and they might not either spell it correctly or hope they do spell it correctly. But if you've got an, an and in it, they might put an ampersand or an and or they might leave it out. So do try to make sure it's uniform. It's best if you can get one person to do it so that you're using all of the same wording, all of the same keywords and phrases, which I will come to in a minute uh, and just making sure that everything is identical. Google loves to see uh, repetitive um, content, repetitive photos, and repetitive names. That's how it determines how um, important your business is. So the more times it sees the exact searches. So if you can ensure that everything, and that really um, covers you for all of your social media pages as well, because Google absolutely loves you to have great social media presence. So it will be looking for you to have a good Facebook page and a Twitter page and LinkedIn and Instagram and that they're all called the same. So, um, you know, you really do need to try and get in there before someone else nicks your, uh, your name and then you're left with a different uh, handle. Uh, you need to try and get those all looking as uh, identical as possible. Use the same profile, logo and picture across all of your platforms. And then the other thing you need to do is look at your keywords and searches. So what is it that somebody types into Google to find you? If you're an estate agent, say in Hammersmith, they might put in property to rent in Hammersmith, flat to rent in Hammersmith, apartments to rent, houses to rent, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, all of those phrases you will try to put into your posts, onto your website, into your blogs, into all of your listings online, because again, they're the sort of thing that, that Google will see it and they'll go, that's an exact phrase, that's an exact match, good, up they go. So do try to work those out. Uh, you can look at your Google Analytics to see where the traffic comes from and what people have typed in to get to your current website. But you can also use your common sense. You know the people that you're dealing with. You could ask them even, you know, what did you type in to get to us? But, um, you know, what would you type in if you were looking for a property in, I don't know, Wales, for instance? So, you know, what are you going to type into Google and use that 
analogy for your own. Uh, so do try to make sure that everything is across board. Please make sure that you're blogging. And if you are blogging, that you are putting those keywords and phrases into your blog, into your, new, your news articles, and that when you are putting photographs up, please make sure that you're using the box which is labeled alt text, A-L-T text which um, Google also looks at when it's um, going through um, its little process. So if you can call those photographs something relevant to your business. So this is a photograph of Jane Gardner, who is the managing director of JP Gardner and Associates, a digital marketing agency, put all of that in and then Google will see those. So it's gonna start to recognize everything that you're putting in. Just a point on photographs. I've had a few people recently that have come a cropper, as did I, all about 12 years ago now. Never take photographs that aren't licensed and put them online under your agency. You can get fined. Google also hates it. It also hates duplicates.